David here. So listen, I just wanted to get this quick little uh, demo to you so that you could uh, take a look quickly how to use SVMS as, um, and how simple it is. So take a notice when you get in there. In this one website, we've got about mm, 26, 24, 25, 2600 videos running through this WordPress plugin. And we have multiple websites. We've got over about 4,000 videos running right now on different versions of our different websites with this version of our simple video management system. And as you say, it's pretty badass and I love it. So um, just take a look at the demo and let me know if you have any questions. So when you, you, you notice I've got 2,057 videos loaded on this site, you can sort them by name or date created or whether it's Lightbox enabled, and you'll understand Lightbox later, but um, Lightbox is a pretty cool thing where you just click the video and it pops up in the screen uh, in a window. You can do that. You can even create a Lightbox grid, which makes a great display for tutorial grids and those kind of things. It's really cool as well. Okay, so um, what you do is you just go in and you add a new one here, clicking that button. But I'm going to edit one quickly and just show you, let's see if I just, uh, you can create groups for all of your videos as well here. So you can have sales pages, testimonials, uh, tutorials, whatever you want there. I'm going to sort this by date. Okay, these are all the videos that are listed. If I click on that or this guy, it tells me here just to go edit it. Now this LB tells me that it's Lightbox enabled or not. Date created, whether it's YouTube, MP4, which would be your S3, WebM, OGG, .movie, which is uh, the QuickTime version, or Vimeo. Vimeo is the only one that doesn't work in the Lightbox or the Grid system. Either one of those, it doesn't work with video, Vimeo. They have to be single videos. It's because of the way they have things set up. So let's see. I've got to look at the Coach Glue uh, testimonial here and show you what we've got. So you just come to this bad boy and you put in your title, you put in your YouTube video. If you're doing a um, S3, you put, plop it in here. Uh, your S3 link would go there. If you want to use a, um, a splash page, you can click this link to do your basic um, uh, WordPress media file that you add. And it'll do it there. You can put it to a group here. When you change your video width, you can, by the way, you can do 16, 9, 4, 3, or custom size. Oh, and video skin, you can do an iMac or an iPad to make it fit in the computer type that you want there if you want. Uh, you change any, either of these, and the other one will change if it is the 16, 9, or the 4, 3. If it's custom, you can change them both. Center it, autoplay if you want, hide controls if you want, loop the video if you want, show captions. That opens up. So if you've got a grid and you want to just put the title of the video under it, you drop in here what you want, and that's that. Um, here's the really cool part, though. Show HTML at whatever time. So let's say it's a 60-second video with a call to action 30 seconds into it. You put 30 in here. You can put the call to action in the bottom of it or the top of it. You can add your... Um, Add a, uh, an image. So, for example, I will do a continue button here. Just your basic WordPress WYSIWYG. Uh, center it. Add your link to it. Now you got a button that's going to show up under your video at 30 seconds. So, uh, you can even time it to whatever spot in your video you want, such as, you know, click the link below and boom, there's the, there's the link. Or when they're done, you can redirect them to another URL. You put that right in here. So if you if you want them just to, to be watch the video go straight to some other page, you can do that. Um, custom video play. If you want it to start at a certain time and end at a certain time, for example, you've got an hour long thing and you want to add only two minutes so you tell it to start at 10 minutes and end at 12 minutes you can do that there um, opt-in gate this is brand new and it's really cool click the opt-in opt-in from opt-in start form or start from so you can tell it when you want the opt-in to start and the video will stop and an opt-in gate comes over it so that you can 
um, get people to opt in before you move to the next thing. And if you are tagging enabled with Infusionsoft or Active Campaign or you're set up with um, um, what? Um, even with Aweber, you can choose your list. You can do those kind of things with tagging enabled. And your tag then will, uh, let's see, where is that? Somewhere on here, you can choose the tag and the, um, uh, the list. It's in here somewhere. And then you've got the light box enabled here. Add an image or use the splash image on your light box and the background of the player. Now, here's your short code. I'm not going to save this, obviously. If you're using WordPress, you can use your short code. If you're using uh, an HTML site, you can use the raw code. If you're using ClickFunnels or, or um, lead pages, you use the iframe code. It shows you at the bottom where the page is that's being used on. So you can have one video being used on a dozen pages, and they'll all show up here, and you can click the pencil to edit that page. So... Let's create a page. I run my internet off the phone, so it's a little slow. So this is test for Liz. Just going to drop this right here. And I will publish that. And by the way, we use Beaver Builder, so you can actually drop these short codes into any of the uh, any of the text. Um, editors or or uh, HTML editor or you know what heading whatever you want to put your 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 code in you can put your code in there and it works in the builders as well so I'm going to publish that now the video um, we've set the video on this page notice it was big and then it went smaller uh, that video size is set for full page. It was an 854, so it would have been centered in the full page. And you can always tell it's ours because we have the, the button up here in the top. Now, this is autoplay, so it's playing now. I hope that that was uh, helpful to you. Now, that that's not everything that this thing does. I mean, I didn't even show you any of the grids. I didn't show you the, um, uh, the light box grid or the regular grid. Now, think of the grids creating a page that looks like YouTube, basically. So in your Lightbox grid, you have a YouTube page and you click a, um, a video and it pops up in the middle of the screen and that is, you play it right there. You can, you can it's just beautiful. If on a regular grid, uh, you can create a two column grid or a three column grid, anything up to a six column grid uh, and your videos will all be on the page and when they click the video, it'll start playing in the grid at the size in the grid that it is. Now that's one way of doing that. Personally, I like when you use the grids to do a light box grid. Um, we didn't talk a lot about all of the stuff that you that you can now do with the SVMS tool there. There is there is the overlay. We didn't talk about the overlay. There's an opt-in gate. There's tagging. Uh, an opt-in gate being so that they you've got a 60-minute video replay, let's say. It's a webinar replay. And you go into the robot, to the replay until it's uh, 10, 15 minutes into it, and an opt-in gate comes up. And it says, if you want to see the rest of the video, however you set this up, by the way, it says, basically, if you want to see the rest of the video, put in your email address and your name, click submit, and then the video continues to play. Um, you can set it so that it's a hard stop, or you can set it so that it's a no thanks, and it will continue to play anyway, because you may want people to watch your, your webinars anyway. So this can be set up as an auto webinar replay doing that. Uh, we use, by the way, we use these, we put this on our pages and use this as a sales page, as an auto webinar replay page. Everything goes through our um, SVMS tool, simple video management tool. We've also added skins. So um, we've only got two skins in there right now, but we're actually getting a bunch more um, to add in there. And uh, you can, a skin being, it can be like sitting on a, uh, a laptop or on a screen, a, a monitor, or on an iPad. And uh, your video will look like it's playing in that frame. Uh, that's a skin. Let's see, what else can you do with this? It's, it, I, oh, captions. So if you're going to do a grid, one of the things you want to make sure is that each video has a caption under it. So the caption, you can write a caption in that will be placed below or above the video in your grid. Um, that way people will know what the, the video is about. So, for example, if you're doing a bunch of uh, tutorial pages 
and you've got um, 10 tutorials. We have 10 or 12 tutorials on how, on, uh, on how to use the SVMS tool, different specific tasks. Each one has a caption, so people can see what it is, click it, watch the video. Um, the other thing I thought of is, I didn't go into it a lot, but the absolute key, and the reason I built this, other than I wanted a, a video player that works in every browser that we have and is truly mobile, truly responsive uh, in everything, uh, that's exactly what I wanted. But the other thing that I wanted was to have that magic buy button come down wherever I wanted it. So it comes up to the top or it comes at the bottom or it comes out however I want it. And I can put an entire sales page, all the HTML, it's just like creating a Word, uh, not a Word, a uh, WordPress uh, document. I can create a WordPress document, entire sales page below the video, and there will only be the video on the page and at whatever time I want it to do, the sales page will drop below. Or it can just be a button, whatever you want. There's incredible amount of flexibility with this. So um, you're going to love this. And um, I, I, we continue to add to this. We're at version eight on this tool because we continue to add marketing essentials to it. We don't, we don't make it complicated. We just focus on the marketing piece of this whole thing. So if you're interested, take advantage of it below. And we're going to give you a special deal down below on, on the single, the multi, or the developer site. So.